Hey folks, Gavin Syme here, down passing through Ohio on our way to Flatwoods, Kentucky tonight to speak about Liberty. Hope to see you down there. We actually just went out to breakfast. Coach Dave Dobbenmeyer up here in Ohio took us out to breakfast and we talked about Liberty and the state of what's going on in this country. It's really neat to meet up with other patriots and believers and, and people who stand up all over the country. And look, Coach Dave, he was down at Target yesterday talking to them about them promoting the idea that, well, men should be using the little girls' room. We should allow that because, you know, that's that's a good thing. And so he was down there, and he's got a big conversation going on here in Ohio about that. It's something we've been talking a lot about out in Washington, too, because they passed laws out there saying, well, you have to let you have to let the peeping toms use the little girl's room. You know, that's that's a civil right. And it's just it's so insanity what we've come to, because the message the message isn't bathrooms. The message is righteousness and liberty and justice when your nation when your nation has got to the point where our subject of political debate is whether men should be in public restrooms with little girls, and, and in the meantime, the same government who's promoting that is abusing the weak and the fatherless and the widow and the innocent with impunity, murdering people on the side of the road, arresting people like our patriots in Oregon, locking people in prison like Jeff Winehouse and Schaefer Cox and innocents all over this nation. And then you have this lukewarm church who says nothing at the abuse of their fellow man, who doesn't stand up for anything. You've fallen far, folks. We have fallen far. We don't have America anymore. What we are forced to debate is insanity. It's things that we shouldn't even be debating. And this isn't a question, and this is the key. We need to tie all the threads together. It's all the same conversation when you talk about calling good good and evil evil, okay? It's not about saying we want government to regulate morality. We want government to regulate for the church. Some people are into that, but that's not the way we need either. Nothing could be a greater group of terrorists in this nation, in this world. Nothing could be more immoral than our government here in the United States. So let's not pretend that they should have any say on what is moral. We, the people, the individual, we need to set the moral standard by our example. Part of that example is speaking boldly out against right and wrong. I mean, as a Christian, I'm not going to pretend that sin is righteousness. I'm not going to pretend that perversion is good or that men going into the little girl's room is some sort of civil right. These aren't civil rights. There's no gay rights. There's no black rights. There's no white rights. There's no pastor's rights. There's human rights. All men are created equal. But in this lawless government, we're not treating all men as equal. Our churches aren't treating all men as equal. Our patriots, we're not treating all men as equal across this nation. We need to start loving our neighbor as ourselves. It's not about saying, well, the government should regulate the morality. And it's certainly not about saying government should force immorality. And that's what they're doing now. They're telling us, well, you have to accept sin. You have to accept this craziness. See, this isn't law, it's not justice, it's not order. Here we have Ammon Bundy and Clive and Bundy, all our patriots sitting in jail in Oregon. We have innocents caged all over the nation. Where's your pastors? Where's your clergy? Where's your politicians and sheriffs who claim they're constitutional? Where's the people standing up and saying enough is enough? No, they're going out and they're dividing people against each other. They're distracting the world by passing laws about things like who gets to use the bathroom. See, we have a state of insanity in this nation, friends, because we've rejected liberty, we've rejected righteousness, we've rejected God. We all need to stand up, each of us, love our neighbor as ourself, and stand for what's right, and stop compromising our voice. Bring all those threads together. Make the message, whatever we're facing in our area, bring it together, educate people, teach people, stand up against foolishness and tyranny and sin. Let's restore liberty.